All right, guys, we're back in it again today. This is part two of uh, camshaft upgrade for the 292 here in the 55 Ford Fairlane. And uh, what we're going to do first is show you a couple of tools that we're going to be using to get the lifters out and do some of the work this afternoon. First tool, um, this tool right here to turn the flywheel. Um, it's spring loaded, as you can see, and uh, works pretty handy. Uh, it's pretty nice since I'm going to be underneath of the vehicle and my buddy will be up top. If I need to turn the crank at all, um, you can use that. And then, of course, I've got this right here set up that we can use to uh, keep track of all the lifters and uh, which lobe they match. And then, in addition to handheld flashlights and tools like that, I'm also going to have one, a headlamp. That'll work great. I'll show you that here in just a minute. And then, also, I've got one of these jobs. I don't know if you've seen this before but I basically ribbed up a fluorescent light on casters and roll up underneath of the frame. That works extremely well. So um, all the clips, when he's done with those, drop them right here into their storage container. So uh, let's take a look at what we're looking at. You can tell where we're at here, and uh, it's hard to see much of anything in there. With your light shining, you can barely see the edge of a lifter in there. So we might have to be turning uh, the crank at different times, which if we do, that's fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and mark the position that we're at so we don't lose it. All right, guys, what we got going on here, we have marked um, the crank gear with some anises, and I've got it lined up with uh, where the main cap meets the block there. That way we can come back through and uh, put all the lifters in we can make sure we're at top dead center again before we get the timing gears get the timing set back on so this is my buddy nathan right here nathan pinnell he works over at the shop very precious seed he's the guy that prints the programs prints the john and romans also the new testaments this year some of the guys so i'm glad to have him and uh, he's going to be up top uh doing this part i'll be down below i won't film this whole thing but um we'll just get it rolling for you kind of explain the process as we go i'll leave my mic on all right, I can I can see that one way in the back. Okay. Um, go ahead and drop it. All right, here she goes. All right, so this is should be cylinder eight exhaust. All right, put that in there. Cylinder eight exhaust. Sorry about that. I should have had the crank turn. It's all right. We're all good. All right, let me get this crank. That's on the on the other side. Should be uh, shouldn't that be the exhaust four? Oh, I'm sorry, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Because you're on the passenger side, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, let me get this spot around before I got the throw kind of out of the way. This thing probably be more apt to drop. All right, you about ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Drop you the want. next one. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I see it moving. Yep. Bring it on. All right, let me get my magnet. Because it, it kind of stopped on us. Yeah, it did. It kind of went through this. Oh, there it is. Uh, all right, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, here you go. You don't have to wipe the oil off of them. Just keep the oil on them when you pull them out and okay. put them in there. That's fine. And that's the intake. All right, what's that? That's four intake, right? Yeah. Now, since we're at the back, I'm going to go I'm gonna go ahead and go over to number eight. Okay. Since we're already back here, if you don't mind. Sounds Okay, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do, um, let's go ahead and do number eight intake. You, you see me, am I moving it? You yeah, see it? it? Yep, all right. Go ahead and do that one. Uh, no, that should be the exhaust one, right? That's the is that the back. furthest one back? Yeah, that's the furthest one okay. back. Okay. Right, Man, wow. You ready? Okay, yeah. Here she comes. All right, that's the furthest one back. Furthest one back. All right, I must be kind of off from what I was thinking originally. My bad. All right, here you go. All right, just real quick, we're not going to show you everything, but um, sometimes it's kind of hard to see in here. But uh, one of the things you're going to have to do uh, when you're trying to get in there to where the bores are at for the lifters is uh, spin your crank, and so you get your throws out of the way. 
and get up in there. So that's why it's handy to have somebody up top, even when you're taking the lifters out. That way stuff doesn't get stuck and then you can make sure that you get the lifter back into the right position uh, if you're saving your cam. Okay, we went ahead and uh, even put in the first lifter here up front, uh, number one exhaust, just for kicks. But um, he had to go and I got some other things I gotta do too, but we'll get back on this and uh, put the rest of the lifters in. All right, that's the box, uh, what it looks like before we close it up. Uh, nice, just half inch holes drilled in there. And uh, we'll keep this with the old cam, which the old cam's already in the ISKI box. Taking the ISKI cam already, already got the correct washer in place and with the bevel towards the can, towards the block. And uh, Woodruff key on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save these uh, ju just to have them. But, um, We'll put all this stuff away. All right, guys, a uh, little bit of a pause here in the action to show you something that uh, just came in this weekend and we've not had the chance really to do much with it. I say that, I have kind of played with it a little bit, but it's something that's extremely rare, something very difficult to find, and I'm probably gonna end up doing a separate video on just uh, how it's used, its contents, all that kind of thing. But let me just show it to you right now. All right, so my buddy Ted Eaton, um, I gave him a phone call and uh, he said I got one of these so uh, this is a KR Wilson kit uh, to install and actually I guess to, to take the lifters out and install um, on a Y block while it's sitting in the vehicle sitting on the frame so um, you can take a look right here just to see Obviously, you can tell that is Wilson there. Um, made in the USA. But uh, this tray fits down through the cam bores. And, uh, just to pull some stuff out here. The spoon basically slides in the tray there, as you can see. Just like so. And uh, that makes it easier to pull them out. And then, of course, we also got a little pistol. So the way the clip's designed, of course, you just lay the tappet there, horizontal, get it in position, pull the trigger. You pull the trigger, it'll flip it up and uh, put it where it needs to go. So I just fooled this just a little bit. Uh, it was late at night, but um, I put one back in here. Uh, where are we at here? Was it number two? Number two exhaust and um, it worked great, but um, there was a little trick I used for that. So my buddy's coming over here in just a minute, and we're going to take this sucker out and use it. But uh, I did want to show that to you because we kind of stopped some of the action of uh, doing some video recording because we want to show this thing and kind of give an idea about what all is available um, to use if you're going to be replacing the lifters in the block. Something else I picked up at uh, a swap meet. Um, Almost the same design, but not quite. The claws are a little nicer. I'll get it right under the light here so you can see it a little bit better. Make sure that thing kind of focuses in on it there. But um, we're gonna be using this a little bit too, which I did on the other one, but the claws are probably um, not as defined as this, this one is. This one here is the um, same principle as using that telescoping magnet, but obviously this is a fixed idea and um, this is one of these jobs that's kind of stout and bendable and the magnets on the end so that um, basically you can just go up through um, underneath the crank you go right up into the block there so but uh, we're gonna we're gonna just test all of these uh, just to fiddle with them let you know how they work all right just to get started what we got here is um, we've got our lifter uh, just well oiled uh, 30 weight oil uh, nothing, no assembly lube or nothing on it. You don't want that. You want it to be able to spin in the bore, um, save that assembly lube and that graphite and stuff uh, for your cam lobes and your cam gear. But uh, we've also got our magnet sitting in here. And then we've also got our spoon that we're gonna try. And the idea is when um, we get it in position, we flip this up in the air, keep our spoon there, uh, pull the, pull this uh, 
pistol backwards so the clip releases. And of course you can see, um, keep the foot in the spoon and then push it up into the bore. That's, that's the principle anyway. So give me just a second, we'll get in here. Oh yeah, we also got our clip at the ready as well. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and when I did this the first time, one of the things that I did do was I kind of um, went in here and just kind of eyeballed exactly where the length of the shaft or this um, arm should be, depending on which lifter bore I was trying to get up into. So that when I flip this up in the air, I was very close and just had the right angle on it to get into the board, slide it up in. So let's see how we do here with um, with this one and we'll, we'll aim for about right there. Now this didn't come with a set of instructions. So, you know, I'm kind of making some assumptions here on how some of this stuff, how, how it should work and how it should go. But um, I think the big deal is just trying to get this into the bore. And when you're doing this, um, doing this from underneath, it's one of these deals where it's kind of kind of easy to see where the bores are at when someone's shining a light underneath. Um, excuse me, someone's shining a light from on top and you're looking inside the bores. So the big frustration here is to get lined up with that bore. There we go, now we're up and in. So I think I'm on six. And then yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm on six uh, intake, six intake. Now what I have been doing is just doing it this way. And that just means taking this magnet, running it down the bore catching catching the lifter at least trying to catch the lifter yeah there we go it's pushing it down and then when it's caught it with the magnet pulling off the pistol and then just using the magnet to pull the lifter up in the bore but you can tell Probably the wrong one. So I'm gonna get my light and see uh, see what happened here, see where I'm at. Okay, this is exhibit A as to why these things are so frustrating as far as trying to get the lifters and all that. You can tell I've got the lifter into the bore. <laughs> the spoon's kind of catching on it there, okay? But um, I am on the right one, I'm pretty sure, on uh, number six intake, but I want to try to do my best and I can't do the camera and uh, this thing at the same time, but I'm going to pull that spoon back a little bit, spin it, and then try to pop that up in the air and see where we can go. So um, let me put the camera over here. Because I don't want to run needless footage, but um, it, certainly, it certainly helps if you can see kind of get an idea about how things go so if you hear a clunk like that you're going to know I didn't make it and so obviously I did not let's pull that sucker back out of there and we'll grab our magnet There we go. Pull that lifter back out. So try this again. All right, now I've got cylinder uh, two intake installed, and I I did the little trick here. I don't I've only got six hands here. I, see if I can move this around so you can see what I'm doing. Um, just a second. So I've got my spoon keeping it up in the air. All right, you can see that I can move it there, okay? And uh, it's underneath of it. Oh, there you go. 
See if I can move it there. Okay. Let me I'll put this over here. It does help for filming purposes. I apologize if you just had somebody with you, but you see an upper corner there. So what I'm going to do is get my magnet on that sucker to hold it. Okay. That way I can push that up a whole lot further. Just like so. Pull that up a little bit. Take my spoon out. Of course, one of the things we're always concerned about is damaging bearings. That is, I think, a little bit of a trick here too. I'm trying to, because that clip is made uh, to be tight, to held tight on there. Let me move the camera around a little bit and get a better shot. Um, because that, uh, that clip right here is, is really made to hold, hold that tappet, hold that lifter as tight as possible so you don't drop it in the oil pan and stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is just raise this up with our magnet and then, um, take our clip Got it with my fingers, take it up as far as I could, hold it in position with the magnet there, and then take the clip. And the clip, I'm just gonna go right over top of that line of the magnet right there to hold it. So, just pull the magnet away and there we go. All right, my buddy Nathan just showed up. All right, and uh, he's going to be helping us here. So I'm going to put him at the top side, and I'm going to go down below and um, use some of these magnet tools and uh, just kind of show you guys some of the things we're going to be using. Um, we're going to try this tool, of course. Um, I'm going to try my normal magnet that I've been using, the little reach job, the telescopes. And then um, also going to be trying a couple of these too. So... Um, we're going to do some of this from top side and just I'll, I'll tell you which one I'm using and then kind of show you some of the footage from below too. So let's get. All right. So uh, Nathan's going to be top side here. He's got the clips and he's ready to go up here and uh, he might, he probably won't need that magnet tool at all, but uh, he's got it just in case he needs it. I'm going to take the lifters down below with me and these are just in oil. Uh, nothing else. We want those lifters to spin on the bore so you don't coat these with any assembly lube or anything. And um, we'll have a light down there and we'll get to it. You ready, big man? I'm ready. All right. Uh, first tool is our magnetic uh, end here with, uh, I guess, just the um, bendable, bendable shaft. All right. We'll use that one, not the telescope, but the bendable one. This is a, this is a sizable magnet here. It's just going to hold it pretty good. All right, so guys, instead of uh, calling out which one I'm going to, I'm just going to find an open bore here, um, fishing stuff around the crank. And when I see an open bore, I'm going to try to get um, try to get the lifter up in there and just just tell um, Nathan, you know, hey, look for one popping up. <laughs> And put it in there so the first we're going to use here let's take this flexible shaft and you can see let's get it right in the middle there it's kind of out of focus but you can see the bore right there and i'm gonna to have to drop my i'll tell you what let me turn the camera off real quick see if i can get the light on all right so we got our light on the camera guys so um i think i think you can see enough of it there i'm gonna try to go ahead and get this uh flexible shaft up into the bore there we're right in the middle of the camera you can see it there where the bore is at so let me fish this up in here. This this could be interesting with one hand <laughs> trying to film this, but um, we'll see what we can do. Of course, a strong magnet's always fun because it's going to try to catch your throws and everything else. Pretty close right there. Another hand up there to guide it. there we're almost there there we go come on get in there okay 
Let's spin that around. It's, it's really hard to do this with just one hand. <laughs> but I think we're pretty close here. You about ready up there, big man? Yeah, we're, uh, I don't see anything yet. Okay, you're, you're, you're about to. You're about to. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm in the bore. I just, I, if I drop the, I don't want to stop filming. I've got to use my one hand to uh, hold the camera, so. Tell you what, let me see if I can just drop it down here on the ground and use this around. Shaft is definitely flexible. I think the issue is that the Maggot so big, it catches the piston, it catches the throw. Here you go. All right. All right, I see it. All right, so that's it. That's your real time. We didn't edit the video, y'all. I put the clip on there, but when you pull that magnet off, is it going to pull it right through that? No, no, no. I'm going to slide the magnet off okay. like left to right. So yeah, you're good then. Okay. So, you know, the way, the way you got that clip on there, it shouldn't be dragging it off. So, all right. All right. I'm going to set this down again, guys. I don't know if you can see or not. All right, ready? And I've got it all the way up. All right, should have slid it off of there. Yep, I'm off. All right, how we doing? It's on. All right, guys. Um, so that's with the large magnet there. And uh, works okay. It's just a flexible shaft. You really, if you have two... It, it works a whole lot better if you have two hands and not filming with one and trying to do the other. So, all right, let's get the next tool. Out. All right, so guys, we, we got we got Nathan. Um, we went ahead and put one on the on the special tool from Carol Wilson, and we're going to get him back in here. And Nathan, let's go ahead and go all the way back. Um, go the one the one we just put in. Uh -huh. Go one more deep. Okay. I don't know where I don't know where that's at right now. That's on the right bank, right? I mean, yeah, that's on the, on the right. driver's side. Which one did we put in? Was that intake or exhaust? Intake. Intake, okay. So you could be at the very back of the block with this one, right? I could be. All right, yeah, just, just keep on coming. Keep on coming. You got a lot of, keep on coming. I don't see anything yet. Keep on coming. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. All right, now. You're right there. Can you flip it? All right, all right. Hold on. Let me let, let me give you some guidance. Oh man, you're you're in there. You're in there. Okay. You're in there. The dude's in there. All right, hold on, man. Are you kidding me? All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, big magnet, and you guys saw how quick that was, and. Nathan, have you ever done this before? I've never done this. He's done this before. before, but the man knows machine work. He's a press man. He knows his stuff. So, sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to do this with one hand is very interesting. What I want to try to do is get the magnet on the foot so I can push it up while he takes the clip off. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not on there good. Yeah, yeah. All right, I am now. Okay. Go ahead, take the. Pull it out. Yep, pull it out. All right, here goes. I'm just going to pull the clip out. Y'all saw that. All right, I'm going to push this up in position and hold it while he puts the clip on. Wow, that was slick. How about that, big man? I like that. <laughs> that. That is cool. All right, clip is on. All right, is it on there? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to put the camera down, and I... Guys, you saw that, so I'm going to stop the video so I can put We've this got back. Eight on. of the 16 in, and basically what he's doing, he's using that neat little tool, and I'm just using my flexible um, magnet here, flexible shaft. And uh, what I'm basically doing is putting it on the foot and just popping it up, and then he's putting the clips on. So this is going reasonably well, to be honest, um, especially when I can see where the board's at. So we're just going to keep doing this way. 
and uh, let it roll. All lifters are in and uh, ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get our cam prepped. And that just basically means that what we're gonna do is um, oil the journals and um, put some assembly lube on the, on the lobes and on the cam, the, the, the gear back there for the, for the camshaft and the distributor mate. And uh, that'll be all that we need and get that in position. All right, one thing you may want to do is just look down through. Okay, just checking out um, the cam bore here. Looking all the way down through the tunnel, making sure we're all good. Um, of course, we got all our clips on, so there's nothing as far as a uh, Left her foot showing, there's no problem there, but um, you can feel confident you want to check through uh, just to be sure. It may look like it's pretty small, that it's not a lot, but it actually covers uh, very well and uh, this assembly lube is quite on the sticky side. All right, same oil we had for the uh, lifters. We're gonna go ahead and get all, all of our journals here. Of course, you saw I put down this uh, shop towel, clean surface. Can't be, can't be too clean putting a engine together or Especially doing in internal engine work.